In the streets of Dakar, billboards of various candidates are scattered throughout the city as the population gets ready to go to the polls Sunday to elect the next leader of Senegal. Some have their favorites, but others say they just want someone who would unite and advance the West African nation. I'll be voting for Aliou Mamadou Gia because he's worked for UNDP and has 20 years of development-related experience. With that, I think he should be able to change the country. I'll be voting for Basifu Jumai Jahafai because he has the best profile for Senegal. He can take the country far and he could improve our living conditions. I'm voting for change, for development in Senegal, and a better way to govern. Senegal has always been seen as a beacon of democracy in a region plagued by coups until recently when the country's outgoing president, Macky Sall, tried unsuccessfully to postpone the February elections by 10 months. While Sall had said he would not seek a third term, his critics accused him of wanting to hold on to power. It's true that when President Saul took that decision on February 3rd, it was surprising. We were a few hours before the electoral campaign was to officially kick off. That decision completely derailed the election process and caused the country to hold elections during the Ramadan fasting month and reduce the campaign time that candidates would have had to explain their various programs. About 19 candidates are vying for the top job, including former Prime Minister Amadou Ba, who's endorsed by Sal. As he said himself, he hopes to go faster, further, and hopefully do better. President Macky Sall has said that nobody is perfect. While Sall thinks he has a positive assessment during his two terms, He's also said there is room for improvement. Other candidates include Basiru Jamai Fai, a former tax inspector. He's backed by Usman Sonko, who was seen as the key challenger to Sao, but has been barred from running in this year's elections over a previous defamation conviction. Both Fai and Sonko were recently released from prison. Nous avons connu au moins une semaine de retard par rapport aux autres candidats. Compared to other candidates, we started our campaign a week late, but the Senegalese population was waiting for our candidate. Basi and Rue Diame, Dia Carfe, and you've seen the crowds his liberation from prison has attracted and the fever the campaign caravan stops by him and Sonko are creating. We think we can win this election in the first round. Jibril Nying is the executive director of PACT, a civil society group working for election transparency. We are calling on the Interior Ministry to take all the useful tools to make sure the elections, which constitute a big phase for Senegal's present and future, are well monitored and take place in a peaceful and calm environment, and that the polls are honest, transparent and just. That way, he says, there won't be any challenges and hopefully Senegal will be back on track to being the stable democratic country it's been over many decades. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Dakar, Senegal.